Later in today's video, I'm going to forget the name of one of these saints. Stay tuned to find out who. Welcome back to Orthodox Review, the most uneducated educational program on the internet, proven by science and upheld by people everywhere. Uh, this is episode 56 in Athenite Garontikon, Sayings and Stories of the Holy Fathers of Mount Athos. This book was uh, generously donated to the show by, uh, by our good friend Stephen, who uh, also furnished some other books for us, so... Thank you, buddy. God bless you. You're, uh, you're doing God's work, and I'm not talking about sending me books. <laughs> At any rate, uh, before we get into the book, got to go through the usual rigmarole. Like, share, subscribe. You know the deal there. Uh, we do have a Patreon with exclusive content. You can check that in the links below. We also have a PayPal tip jar. You can check that in the links below. There's plenty of links below for things that have nothing to do with this channel. Uh, they're just cool things that I think are uh, worth sharing, and... Uh, products that I uh, believe in, publishers that I like, that sort of thing. Uh, also, the, uh, the nice young person that, uh, that made my, uh, my artwork uh, is down there. So go, uh, go show them some love, or at least browse around uh, at any rate. So yeah, so with that out of the way, let's talk about the book for a minute. Um, wow, okay. Before I even get into the actual book itself, the way the book came to me, uh, is uh, is odd in that no, it's not odd. This this fellow sent me the book uh, because he's a fan of the book and said that he derived such great comfort from it that he felt that the show was a good way to get it into the hands of other people that might also uh, get great comfort from it. Now, it's typically not an easy book to find when you look online. Uh, you actually kind of have to know where to look. Um, but luckily, I'm taking that guesswork out of here. Here, uh, so the links for this book will be below. Um, this book follows in the tradition of many books of collections of sayings of desert fathers, uh, great ascetics, and the like. So um, there he is. There's our buddy, Elder Joseph. Um, but anyway, so so this is a uh, this is this 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 is a 20th century. Compilation, and these are mostly uh, elders and uh, abbots from uh, Mount Athos, collected uh, in the mid to late twentieth century. So, with that being said, let's get into where the book's from, who did it, all that neat stuff. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, published by. Um, the, uh, the Holy Monastery of St. Gregory Palamas in Thessaloniki. Now, whew. all right, where to begin? Okay, so the f it was translated by those sisters um, into English, uh, and this, this version is 2003. Uh, the first English translation was in 1997, based off the first Greek edition, which was from 1991. So the writings you find in here lead up to about 1989. So you're going to have a lot of sayings from people during the 80s um, who had direct contact with what we now call the, the, the new choir of Athenite fathers. Uh, St. Ephraim, uh, St. Joseph the Hesychast, uh, St. Paesios, and um, St. Uh, de de de. Wow! No amount of coffee is going to help me. Maybe a if you uh you have some coffee with me mm. no I, I can almost remember his name hold on nope it's slipping my mind and i have an icon of him in my corner i'm a bad bad boy so there's joseph ephraim Paisios, porfirios <laughs> oh my gosh i suck anyway okay so so you have a lot of them in here, and in fact, oh, hey, Elder Isadora, which bookmark is it? Okay, so direct from the lips um, of uh, 
Elder Joseph right there. Um, what's what's really cool is uh, okay. So we've gone over the fact that there's a lot of contemporary elders and saints in here. What I will say about the book, the way it reads, it's um, I guess the best way to put it is it's it's simplistic in nature. The because um, you got to remember these aren't these aren't educated theologians. You know the, the, these are these are the salt of the earth elders of the Holy Mountain. So reading the book is, is kind of like going to Mount Athos and just bumming around and, and listening to these these guys. And so it's like the next best thing to be in there because of A, it's contemporary nature, and B, the nature of the way the book was written. See, the, uh, the monk that was tasked with compiling these was sent by his elder uh, to go to specific elders across the Holy Mountain and just collect stories from them. For, for the purpose of getting them in writing before they passed on to the new, new generation. So you have very simple down-to-earth councils, a lot, of, lot, a lot of examples of just like straight, simple holiness and simplicity. Uh, simplicity is the name of the game here, folks. Um, Elder Nicodemus. Um, a lot of unknown saints uh, talked about in here. Um, a lot of accounts of miracles and just the day-to-day -day life of the spiritual struggle on the mountain. So it's, uh, and of course they're bite-sized pieces, you know, tiny little click, 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 click. Now let's go to the table of contents for it is comprehensive and take a look at what we got. Um, you got on Christ-like love, purity, sense of, we could sit here all day and read the table of contents, but you, you pick a subject and a modern elder is going to tell you a little something about it. Um, look at look at look at here, section forty, five thirty seven. Everyone's favorite subject. I'm not going to read it out loud, but I'm going to hold it up real close so you can see it. Uh, yeah. So that's a thing. That seems to be a running theme I've noticed in in patristics, and the writings of elders. But anyway, there's a little bit of everything in here for you. Uh, I myself have not read the entire book yet but I've, I've read the beginning chunk and skipped around a bit enough to, to have gotten the impression that I did. It's, a, it's heavy material, but uh, again, it's not a book that you really want to sit down and read straight through. It's a book you pick up once a day. You know, you get a little tidbit out of it. You, you know, you go on with your day. You know, a lot of these books, they're really kind of arranged to do that, and um, not unlike the... Uh, the practice of reading the ascetic homilies of St. Isaac in a monastery where you only get to read a page a day. So um, these, these are the real devotionals of our church. Um, they're, they're, there's a lot of modern uh, daily readers that, not saying that they're bad, they're far from it. Um, you've got uh, Ancient Faith Encouraged uh, from Father Barnabas Powell. You've got uh, The Morning Offering from Out of Trifon, uh, which are both great books. I have them. I use them. They're fantastic. I, I love those guys to death. Um, and, but when it, when it comes down to old world orthodoxy and specifically the Holy Mountain, this is well worth the price. It's about $40 uh, plus shipping. Shipping uh, from Greece really isn't that bad. Uh, you can occasionally find it through Amazon who in turn procures it from the Greek source so um, you can you can find it on Amazon occasionally, but uh, I'm going to leave you a link uh, below for the uh, the Greek source. Um, they're good people over there. They work directly with the Holy Mountain and the monastery in Thessaloniki. So uh, when I, in fact when I got this, I opened it and it was wrapped in plastic, and I opened the plastic and I stuck my nose in it, took a nice deep breath, and it smelled like grease, bro. <laughs> no joke, fam. Anyway, I, I, I know this was really a cursory glance at the book. I just really wanted to tell you that it exists and it's worth picking up. Um, much like any other book like this, every, every line I read is a revelation sometimes and just uh, helps, helps to keep me humble because I get a big, big fat head sometimes. So anyway, I would wholeheartedly encourage you to go pick this book up. Um, do yourself a favor. I know it's a little pricey. It was pricey even for me, but thank God it was, it was donated. But uh, if, if you're looking for something to add a little something to your day, um, or maybe you just need that, that simple encouragement, 
that uh, that you don't get on Facebook groups because those are toxic. But that's a story for another time. Uh, go pick up an Athenite Garanticon. Um, I'll leave the link below. I don't know how many times I'm going to say link below in this video. But anyway, that's all. Um, on behalf of Spooky Cat, who is not present, she is out playing, uh, and myself, uh, I love you all, dear brothers and sisters, and uh, I hope to see some of you back in church once we're allowed back in. But uh, in whatever way you can, don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember God.